Hi friends, I welcome you all in this session on cell study sequence guide for FRM part 1 for 2022 session. In this session we will talk about what is a cell study guide, how you should use it and the few features of the cell study guide. This is a very short video for you and this will help you in deciding the right order of preparation for FRM part 1. So first of all, why do we need this cell study sequence? Cell study sequence is very important for FRM curriculum. Reason is very simple. FRM part 1's curriculum is not very well structured. So you have book 1, 2, 3, 4. So starting with the foundations of risk management, quantitative analysis, financial markets and products and valuation and risk models. Now the problem with this particular organization is to understand a few topics of book 1. You need to first finish the book 2, book 3 and book 4. So if you start with the directly book one, you will encounter a lot of problems. You might not be aware of all the concepts which are given in the book one, which are covered with the basics in the book two and in the book three. So to solve this problem, you have to decide a particular order. Being a student who is studying for the first time, it is very difficult to decide the order of preparation. So we will provide you the order of preparation. This will help you in reducing your headache and your preparation time. You'll be able to understand concepts in a very better manner if you follow this particular sequence, right? So we'll start with the first. First, we have some icons used in this particular material, which I will explain you. This is for your reference when you will download this book. Now, if you want to contact me, you can contact me using this particular WhatsApp number. This is my personal number. You can directly contact me. And if you want to subscribe, so this subscribe link already you are watching on the YouTube video. So that doesn't make a lot of sense, but subscribe for the um, videos. And this is the Facebook link. Okay, Falcon and Defend. This time we have some free courses available for the FRM part one students. So starting with the first, the FRM prequel course. So understand that FRM part one's curriculum starts from a certain level. To understand FRM part one's concepts, you need to first know certain mathematical concepts and the financial concepts. So we, co we are covering the mathematics and finance, which is required to understand the FRM part one's curriculum in this particular course, FRM prequel course. Uh, here topics are like the uh, mathematical topics are like um, you have matrices, time value of money, we have log theory, we have simultaneous equation and so on. So there are multiple topics. In finance we are covering the how balance sheet works, then some certain concepts of the balance sheet and financial markets, what is the financial market overall structure of the financial market and a lot of other topics. This course is continuously updating so you will see a lot of new videos in this course. Then second course is TIB2 plus calculator course. Everyone should be using TIB2 plus calculator and this course provides you the guide and this provides the uh, efficient way of using the TIB2 plus calculator. So you should use definitely use this course and we are also providing the mini mocks test. Uh, this is free mock test will be released in the Feb mid. Right. So where to access this particular study guide and these courses. So simply visit the falconedefin.com on the falconedefin.com this particular study guide is available in the free download section. You will see the free download section in the menu. And for this particular, these courses, the FRM prequel course, GIB2 plus calculator and mini test. So for that, you have to locate the dashboard. Dashboard is given in the uh, near the social media links. You will see right uh, red color logo. So you have to register on the falconedefin.com, create your credentials, and then you will be able to access these courses for free. We're also coming up with the other free courses right now. Uh, it is under progress. So I'm not mentioning all those courses here. So for 2020 session, if you want to go with the uh, guided preparation, if you want the guidance and study packages for the FRM part one. So we have three options currently. So first is a downloadable live classes and uh, fast track videos, which are for the revision purpose only and released just two months before the exam, not now. So downloadable classes and live Hindi classes are already available. You can access all the courses, like all the content right away. So downloadable classes are in English like before and it contains the 100 hours of video, study notes, question bank, revision material, doubt solving, support and a lot of other things. Uh, pricing you can see on the website as well as it is given here. Then live course is only in Hindi. So we are covering live course or we are taking live course on the Zoom every Sunday 2.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Okay. And it is mainly for the Indian audience and it is in the Hindi. Now, then we have the fast track course, which is in the English. Spelling is wrong. Okay. So this English course is available uh, just two months before as we discussed. So you can access that course. This covers only 30 hours of limited videos, the study notes, question bank and revision material. Doubt solving support is not included in the fast track videos. Now we'll start with the first, the study, the cell study sequence. Here we have divided the cell study sequence into months, Jan, Feb, March and April. 
and this is the month wise preparation so this the months are divided into the four weeks and starting with the first week one two three four like this and you can see first week covers the topics from the book number two how do we know this so here i have added this particular icon this particular icon and on this icon the book two is shown clearly okay so you can clearly see uh, this topic belongs to book two and so on so here you can see book three so you have to start with this particular sequence follow this sequence this helps a lot and then follow a week by week one particular problem you might encounter is you might not be able to finish your curriculum as per this particular schedule so don't worry about it even if you are following the sequence then also it is fine and in case you are unable to finish the uh, particular sequence in given time or given schedule so don't worry uh, try to cover it as much as possible and if you are able to cover it then really good now my recommendation is you should be able to finish here at least 70 to 80 percent of the preparation by month of april so uh, you have to make sure you are appearing for the mock test round one round two again if you want to appear for the mock test we conduct mock test and in the week three and week four because after this in the month of may you have exam right so before that you should be you should appear for the mock test result was announced just few days back and uh, students who cleared the exam there was one common thing between them they appeared for the mock test so mock test is very very important okay make sure you appear for one cbt mock test at least one cbt mock test so you'll be able to get the proper idea of how the mock tests are conducted in the cbt environment the computer based testing environment right so our mock test have the time uh, and 100 questions in the similar fashion the way GAP sets the question so you'll be able to get gauge your preparation with the help of these mock test now for the 2020 session previously we used to provide uh, difficulty level number of expected questions and the self study sequence in same set okay now we remove two particular things first is the expected number of questions because GAP changed overall exam structure drastically so number of expected questions is no more relevant for your coming exam because I don't have any idea how many questions you will get in the exam from the which topic. So sorry about that. And the next thing is the difficulty level. So previously in the 2021, one of the students provided me, provided me the feedback that when they see the topic levels, the difficulty level just with that particular topic, they feel very intimidating. If the topic is said difficult, then they don't feel like studying it. That's why I decided to remove difficulty level from your actual self study sequence. So now you will see self study sequence, this particular sequence of topics does not provide any information about the difficulty level of the topic. Now, if you want to know the difficulty level of the topic, you can simply uh, jump to this particular section, which provides you the difficulty level. So what is the importance or why do you need to uh, know the difficulty level? So answer is very simple. I will give the example of this multivariate random variables, which is considered as a hard, okay, hard from the perspective of the way it is given in the GARP curriculum. Now understand one thing. If you are studying this particular topic and you are not able to understand a lot of things, right? So how you should, how can you judge that this is your problem or this is universal problem? So if you check this particular sequence or this particular section where the difficulty level is provided, it is clearly says that this particular topic is hard. So after seeing this, you should be able to understand that, okay, I'm, I'm not the one who is feeling this hard. This is difficult for everyone. Okay. So you should not be worried about all those things. So this will help you in understanding your preparation. Now I will give you the second example. Just imagine the fundamentals of probability topic. You're studying the fundamentals of probability and you feel this particular topic very difficult. Now you come to this particular uh, PDF and you see, okay, this topic is easy, considered easy. Then it's my problem, right? My problem is as a student, it is like your concern that you should be focusing more reading properly and so on, right? So this is the reason of using the difficulty levels as well so this will help you in understanding where do you stand in the preparation and you should you will be able to gauge your preparation your understanding because then you can relate right so if you are feeling topic of slightly difficult and if you see okay that topic is slightly difficult or the medium difficulty level you are good your preparation is going good okay so this is how this difficulty uh, level will help you in your preparation Right, so this is about the cell study sequence, a very short introduction. So thank you very much. Thank you for listening. Uh, 
uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I am coming up with the lot of content for the sales study students where I will also guide you on how to prepare, how to um, prepare subject wise. Okay, so every subject is very unique in FRM part one as well as in the FRM part two. So this particular, these series of videos which I, am, I will release in this particular week will help you in understanding how to improve your preparation, how to practice the questions and so on, right? So thank you very much. Thank you for listening to this video. See you in the next video.